to record. Welcome everybody. This is the 1970s Rowdy class and we're going to get rowdy today because we are in book 367, 1970 songs, and we're going to do We Will Rock You by Queen. Yeah. And I'm going to get you guys doing some physical things. Why? Because I can. <laughs> So we're going to get a, uh, doing some crazy stuff. By the way, the most votes that I've had for books for next semester, I told you we were going to vote on those today. So far, the most votes I have are for the same series, the decade series for the 1960s, number 366. If um, that works for you, um, you can put it in the chat. Just give me a thumbs up or a yes and, or email me at the store because so far that's the one most people want. All the rest of those other 60s um, books that I did check out, 340, they're out of print. So the two that are currently in print are 52, the Black Essential 60s, and the Decade series, which is like this. And so I think that's exactly the one we're going to do. And if you need a book, please email me and let me know because I am going to put the order in. I'll put it in either later this afternoon or tomorrow morning. So please email me and let me know if you need a book. Okay, here we go with We Will Rock You. Everybody knows this song. <laughs> if you don't, you will. But I will tell you this, it scared me. I almost didn't do this song because I seriously had some creative blankages where I went, what am I going to do? What am I going to teach? <laughs> this was written by Brian May, who is the guitarist for Queen. Queen. It was for their 1977 album, News of the World. Um, other than the last 30 seconds, which is a guitar solo by Brian May, the song is a cappella, using only stomping and clapping as a rhythmic body percussion beat. So yeah, you guys are going to all have to help me with that. And I'm going to also show you how to do it on your organ, so it will be some good stuff. This song was issued together with We Are the Champions as a worldwide top 10 single. So where are we supposed to find We Are the Champions? Guess what? It's in the Essential 70s book. But I also happen to have a Queen book, a Queen piano book, and it had We Are the Champions in it. So what I did is I wrote it out and I made an arrangement hopefully easy enough for us to be able to play. It's a two-pager. What I'm worried about is that when I give it to Robert, he may not be able to put this on Patreon due to copyright issues. Okay? So you may want to just ask me directly so I can scan it to you. Because even though this is for educational purposes only, Patreon or YouTube, I can get in trouble with having too many measures. I did the whole song for We Are the Champions. So you're going to get a bonus today, second song by Queen. And normally you do hear these two songs together. So you need two different rhythms for each song, one for each song. And I am also doing a preset sheet. And as you can see, preset one is the longest. And that is for We Will Rock You. And the background, now this is where you have to get very, very creative. Okay? Because there's no chord. So you got to find something that's going to work for you. If you are on a smaller organ, rock full band at 80 beats a minute is going to be perfect for you. Now, I found what I started doing is I started looking for a drummer. I'm at 80 beats a minute, and I just started poking rhythms and listening to the no chord. No chord gives you only drums. So I just started listening to drums. And what am I listening for? I wanted to get it the closest to the stomp, stomp, clap, because that's the rhythm. Now, you might want to invite some neighbors over. <laughs> and have them do the rhythm for you. Stomp, stomp, clap, just like a queen concert. Everybody gets into it. How are we going to do that and be able to do any playing? Well, you got to find the right drummer. Um, you know what? I think I'm just going to play the whole thing for you, and then we'll talk about what I did to get it. How does that sound? 
What key is it in? What key is it in? Doesn't matter. It's a cappella. <laughs> you don't need an intro because your intro is going to be that you're you're stopping and clapping. All right. So you can kind of see my knee going because I'm going to be doing foot pedals. I am putting the sounds on foot pedals. Pretty cool, huh? Uh. Are you gonna Are you gonna have a tired leg by the time you're done? Yeah, but you're also gonna have an appreciation for drummers because drummers have to do that kick drum all the time <laughs> and keep the same rhythm and then do other things with your hands. So you you can try it. Now, if that doesn't work for you, you're gonna get creative. That's pretty close, isn't it? Yeah. I searched. I searched. This one's pretty close. But you can also now combine it with your foot. Pretty cool, huh? It is so cool.
amazing. Pretty so, cool, huh? That was great. <laughs> Well, you found the creative juices, that's for sure. I found them. Yeah, no. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. No, so you can't really have one song without the other because on the radio, they play them together. In concert, they play them together. So I'm, I'm going, where's the other song? It's not here. They only put the first song there. So I got out my queen book, my piano book, and I wrote it out for you. And that like was so said, nice. You may uh, not be able to get it on YouTube. It may be banned. It may be banned on Patreon only because of copyright issues. I wrote out the whole song. They'll usually allow like an intro um, or an insert, but they don't usually allow a completely rearranged written song because I don't have, you know, I didn't pay copyrights on this. Even though it's for educational purposes only, you may have to get it from me. Okay? So. They're going to throw you in jail. <laughs> it was. <laughs> So they better put an organ in jail for me. <laughs> right. It was so cool. Dawn, you need to do that in concert and everybody do the stamping and the yeah. clapping. Yeah. Wouldn't See? that be good? See? Yeah. So everybody have would have to do the clapping and stomping. The clap. <laughs> yeah. It would be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, but so you notice I even messed up on that. It's, that's hard. You know, now Randy's a drummer, and he thinks that's just the coolest thing, is he can do that bass drum. Oh, man. Do that, and do it consistently while he's doing other things. But that's what drummers do. So I have a new respect for drummers. Yeah. New respect for drummers. Yeah. It may take a year to learn it, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you don't want to learn those foot pedals, you don't have to. Just find the right rhythm to give you. It's not perfect, but this is close. What is that one? What is it? Well, you're not going to believe where I found it. If I played a chord and just played the background for you, you'd go, really? That, that's where it is? If I put all the stuff on, that's the background. It's called Happy Organ. It's called Happy Organ, and it is under your pop. Now, there are others, like Rock Full Band or Basic Rock 8-Beat. You can get pretty close. But I just kept pushing buttons, and do not forget to try your the alter drum. styles. All through the drums. Yeah, it's all drums. So what you have to do is you have to turn off. Now I went to pop, <clears throat> happy organ, rhythm preset, or vintage number nine. Why? Because it gave me the rock organ on top. Let me turn off pedals. I got a rock organ on top, which, which is perfect for Freddie's voice. And then I had some guitars on the bottom. So I added to those guitars. The guitars that actually came up were in the orchestral section. They're both sending the guitars to the bottom. One of the guitars is a muted long. Let's turn these off. One of the guitars is an electric blues guitar. These are already there. Okay, that's pretty good Brian May guitar right there. And then I thought, what else do I need? I need to have the guitar that's going to give me the feedback. The feedback. See how it, how it, all the, it gives you that feedback just by holding it? So I needed to have that so I could play that early on and get that that wonderful feedback, and then I added another guitar. So I'm using my two solo sounds that were not being used at all as guitar sounds. One of them is the feedback guitar, one of them is an electric solo guitar. So what you're actually doing is you are combining four guitars to go to your lower keyboard. All your entire orchestral and solo section all four of those voices and sounds are going to go to the lower and they're, excuse me, they're all going to be guitars. <coughs> all of them are going to be guitars. And you can combine different combos to get what you want, but make sure one of them is that feedback guitar so that when you get to page 306, you can introduce that 
while you're still doing this. Hear it? Yep. Yeah, you're still gonna be doing all your stomping. Then when you get to that C chord, it's gonna be exactly the guitar comes in at the right place. Exactly the way it does on the record. Do you have all that on the sheet? It's all on the sheet. Okay. <laughs> yep. What tempo were you working with? I'm with 80, 80 beats a minute. Oh, okay. 80 beats a minute. Okay, and that's just to get those drums in the right spot. And you have to play a no chord in order to get it going. Now that's not perfect, but it's pretty close. And then when you add your foot pedals, oh my, how did I add the foot pedals? What did I do? Do you have the foot pedal information on the sheet? I do. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I do. We've never done anything with pedals before ever. I know. So, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to your features and you're going to scroll until you get to pedal natural black. Go to the page that says pedal natural black. It's on page nine on the Imperial. It's probably going to be different pages, but you want to touch pedal, pedal natural black. Make sure your pedal controllers are on and you want to make sure Pedal natural says sound effects and pedal black says sound effects. Now you have to choose which sound effects. So what you can do is touch it, turn it blue. Now my pedal natural, I went to, oops, it just bleeped on me. Oh, that's because I went to a different, yeah. Bass drum low. Bass drum low is what I settled on. You might find one you like better. Keep scrolling. I like the low one. There's all kinds of bass drums. So that's what I was looking for was a bass drum. So you might want one of those other bass drums. So tr keep scrolling and trying. That's your stomper, is your natural pedal, is your stomp. The black pedal, the short one, you're going to make a hand clap. So you want to scroll until you get to hand clap. Yeah, and then you have to get coordinated. Long, long, short. Natural, natural, black. Long, long, short. Long, long, short. Then you got to do that. By the way, ladies, that's good thigh work. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but it will only be on your left leg. Yeah, I, I know. know. Right. Right. Your, left leg. your left leg will be this big in your <laughs> Does it matter which pedal you touch? No. Any long pedal. That's why just stomping is fine. You just stomp on a long one, stomp oh. on a short one. Oh, you don't need a designated note? No. Just a long, long, short. Oh, long, wow. long, that's short. Easy. Long, long, short. So yeah, just make sure you're hitting them. Long, long, short. So that's how you get the pedals. Hey. Question. Don, can I make a comment here? You may, Don. Uh, my daughter, Michelle, whom you know, yes. <laughs> remembers the, the band back in high school when they did this. Mm -hmm. And she, she took the job of getting the, the uh, crowd involved in the uh, in the beat of the song with wow. the, of the, beat, the clapping and they said they got this thing going so loud the thunder was so loud you couldn't hear yourself speak <laughs> it, was a, it was the best time they ever had with that song i'll bet <laughs> that's I the way it's bet. supposed to be yeah 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 so you guys got to invite all your neighbors over and get them doing that oh yeah, yeah. That, that was 1981 wow oh, oh how cool is that <laughs> How cool is that? So yeah, then you just get your feet going on, on the stomp, stomp, long, long, short, long, long, short. Then when you play a no chord, now you remember, I'm on happy organ, I am on drum variation and altar style. So you gotta watch, drum variations change on your altar styles too. So when you're looking, you gotta do a lot of button pushing to look. And then you want to turn your bass off, your genie basic is off, your orchestra plus is off. You're doing a no chord. 
and at 80 beats a minute. You've got your organ on top, and you've got four guitars on the bottom and with some harmony. Now, you noticed I had two hands up here for them. Why? I tried to put a harmony on. Harmony does not work if you don't have a chord. Oh. Ah. I was wondering why you didn't do that. I said, I'm just going to hit octave harmony. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, now, I'm glad you're thinking that way because I could have taken it even a step further. I could have done another preset, which I didn't, where I would have had to have stolen one of the orchestral guitars and change it to an organ sound, something that might match this. Okay, something that might match your tabs. And then I'd have to have two commands, an upper on and a lower right, and send my organ sound to the top and only one of the two guitars from my orchestral to the bottom. It has to be orchestral because only the orchestral can be affected by the harmony. But what, but what I would do is I would take my, you have a button, harmony doesn't work if you don't play a chord. So you'd have to go to your upper orchestral orc solo and put it down an octave so that you've got this organ playing in one octave and then the organ that you just created in orchestral playing at a different octave. So if you want to take the time to work on that, go ahead. I just didn't want to take the time. I was having, I was just having stress issues trying to even do this song. <laughs> so I decided we'll just use two hands because I'm on no chord. So just have fun with that. Yeah. Don, yeah. Don, could you record that the bass pedal part and save it and then play it and do your song at the same time? That's a possibility. That's a possibility. But then what are you going to do when you get to the guitar solo? I don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> then you got to have some chords going. Yeah. Yeah, and even though I've just got the chords playing, I still don't have any of the style playing. I've got, I've got drums, I've got... I didn't put any bass in either because I, I, I could have, but I didn't. I just left what's going on in the background. There's some, there's some organ sounds. That's the only thing I have going for me. And that's why I think I used all of the harmony. Um, I did a four-part harmony on the guitar so it would fill it out. Because I know it's only a, a, a guitar solo, but I just needed to fill out the rest of the band, and I didn't want to have to turn on the bass, the genie, because this happy organ really has nothing to do with the rock and roll. But I tried every single rock and roll, every single one of those rock and roll backgrounds, and I couldn't find the right drum, so I just kept going. I just kept looking. <laughs> Happy organ, you don't want to put on any of the, the bass and the because it's not going to work for this song. Mm -mm. But the drummer works pretty well. So that's why I'm using that one. Amazing. Okay. So that's how you do. Now, what did I do for adding what you want, what you want to do on page? Let's start. It's on page one. Page one at the bottom where you go to, we will, we will rock you. Okay, when you get to that part, you want to write a write your notes in octaves. So you want to put a G underneath the G, an F sharp underneath the F, an E underneath the E, and a D underneath the D. And what I did is I put L H, L H, and pointed an arrow to that lower note. What that tells me is that I'm going to play like this. Okay. And so what I, you're doing, John, is you're repeating the notes that are there only. Correct. An octave underneath. And one with your left hand. Correct. An octave underneath. Yes. So you've got this going on and you're just going to play. Next page. And you don't want to hold those E's. 
You don't want to hold those easy. You want to play rock you and get off of it. Like Dennis Oz taught you the other day, you only hold the note as long as it takes to say the word. Rock you and get off of it. Right. First and second ending, do the same thing. First ending, do G, F sharp, E, D, E, E with the left hand. Mm -hmm. Do it, second ending, do it one time for this. It's actually, you know what? It's actually the third ending. Hey, that's a misprint. Where you have se the second ending and line two, cross out two and put three. Oh, no, really? That, that is a misprint. Because you've got one t comma two, yeah, yep. right. now, one comma two, it, because you've got three verses you got to get to. Yep. So then your third ending, which is printed as a second ending, you want to also do G, F sharp, E, D, E, E. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky. In the second measure, you want to put an E in the top space, you want to in the in third line, second measure, just anywhere. Just put an E okay. in the top space, and you want to put an R, meaning right hand, R H, right hand. But you want to put an L, meaning put it in the lower keyboard. So the right hand is going to play that E in the lower keyboard, while the left hand is now going to play those top other notes until you get to the C chord. And then the C chord, your left hand goes down here. So that page, I'm going to start at the third ending. I'm going to start at the third ending and play it the way it's supposed to be played. Yeah, see, I didn't get the right hand in there good enough. Let's try this again. Okay, and then you can do a fill in when you hit that C chord. Now you're hearing that real high pitched harmonics. That's that, harm, that's that harmonics that's coming in from your feedback guitar. You hold that E note, and that harmonics is going to take off, and it's going to sound just like the record. And you're going to go, ooh, that is really cool. <laughs> and then that last measure, you're going to play the C chord and a fill-in. Why? Because you want the drums to start doing some more stuff. Okay? Questions? Totally different from anything we've ever done before. Totally different. Some of you are going to say, eh, not doing it. And that's okay. That's okay. I almost skipped this song because it, it was a little bit hard and tricky to figure out how do I do this. So, Dawn, so you're holding that E with your right hand on the lower keyboard for how okay. long? Until when? Until you get to the top of the page. 307, then you're going to take that and play the guitar solo. Okay. So you're going to have an L at the top of page 307 because that's your guitar solo. You're starting the guitar solo with that harmonic note, with that E. You're going to play the C chord, do your fill in. You're still holding the E. Oh, I guess you can't see that hand. You're going to hold that E, play the C chord. Do a fill-in so the drums start kicking in, and then you play an A chord and do your, your guitar solo, which is going to be all on the lower keyboard, the whole thing. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And by the way, I don't have any fingering today. I didn't get that far. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are just going to have to figure out the fingering on your own on this one. Yep. But so, yeah. Um, any questions about where that E comes in? It's the second measure in line three. And you're just going to write right hand, R-H, lower, and put that E, and then I just put an arrow across. So it means that you're just going to hold that for three, two and a half lines, actually, while your left hand continues playing the We Will, We Will Rock You. 
-hmm. on the upper keyboard. Ooh, yeah. Coordination stuff. Yeah. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start again at the third ending. Oops, okay, Andy, Andy's next to me here. He's got a question. No, I did not. I heard a, I played a chord only here. Okay. The C chord is the first chord I play. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. All right, let's start again at the third ending, the middle of the second line. Okay. <laughs> your guitar solo. So mm -hmm. once you hit that C chord, you can spend as many measures as you want. If you're having a good time with that harmonics, just make sure that you're doing that fill-in to get enough drum kick to be able to, to go into that solo. Then you just start playing your chords and do your, do your drum solo. John? Sure you have full harmony on that drum so on, the, on your guitars, so it actually sounds like the whole band is kicking in. So, John, uh, yeah. when you put in that uh, right hand uh, lower level in that second measure in the third line, mm -hmm. okay, then you've got your hand down there and you're holding that. You're e. holding that for two and a half lines, yes. You're holding that with your right hand. Correct. And then, and then this the hand note. is doing the We Will Rock You. Oh. This hand is doing oh. that. Oh, okay. And then when you get to the rock you, you can cross out those two E's for the word rock you because yeah. that left hand, we will C chord. Oh. You've got to, if you do rock you, you're going to miss the C chord. So cross out the rock you and just do the C chord with a fill in. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Now the, the play that C chord and a fill in. Then you do go into your drums, into your guitar solo. Wow. Okay. Very oh, interesting. Yeah, it's the we've never done anything like this before. Wow. Now, if you want to play the foot pedals, you may. If if you don't feel like playing foot pedals, just make sure your drums are strong enough that they can carry. Oops, you gotta also have them on. <laughs> make sure your pedals on is on over here. <laughs> okay, so now how do I go into the next song? I'm going to hold, I'm on an A chord, I'm on an A, I'm on a C sharp note. I'm going to hit the stop button, stop, preset two, nope, you don't want to hold that. You're on the A, C sharp, hit the stop button, lift it, go to preset two, do a no chord because now you're changing tempo and meter. You're doing a ballad, a 6-8 ballad. So what did I do for the second part? My next preset is going to be, and you can use several of them, I used soul ballad. Soul ballad at 62 beats a minute, rhythm preset number 10. Soul ballad. Uh, now, several other ballads you could have used. Yes. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> there was a fire in the building. Oh! <laughs> the siren went on and we had to walk down 12 flights of stairs. Oh. I missed everything. Oh so I can't get... <laughs> it, okay. But can you tell me what, um, uh, what do you call it? What, what did you use? For the, for the We Will Rock You part? I used yeah. Pop, Pop, Poppy Organ. At 80 beats a minute. Okay. Rhythm preset or vintage number nine, which gives you a rock organ on top. Now you're going to do some extra guitars. It's all on the sheet. Okay. 
make sure I scan it to you. And you're going to turn off everything. No bass, no genie, no orc plus. You are going to put on drum variation and altar style because that's what's going to get you the close enough. You're also going to turn on pedals, natural and black, so that you can do your... John? Yeah. When you do the soul ballad, um, is that on the preset page? I mean, do you push a button or what? Soul ballad is under ballad. Right, I know that, but uh -huh. is, that, uh, is that on a preset? Or I'm going to go to vintage preset number 10. Okay. Number oh. 10. Okay. All right. Yep. Okay. okay. All right. And you did fingering already? No, we're, we're not. doing the second part already. We're doing oh, okay. We Are the Champions. Okay. Just started that. Yep. Okay. So you want to yeah, do the meter? Yeah. There's no fingering. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, you're so lucky I'm even doing this do today. I almost skipped it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was I totally stymied as to how am I going to teach this? There's no chords. Mm -hmm. That guitar right. solo sucks, you know, but until I filled it out with the with the harmony and, and put the the feedback guitar in there, I, then, it started okay. to, then it started to sound. I'm like, oh, okay, I can do this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, what we're going to do with We Are the Champions, um, you can just leave it on this and play the whole thing like that. I did do up to preset A6. So A2 through A6 is all for We Are the Champions, and it's just little tiny things, like turning on and off your altar style and turning on and off your upper harmony. When you get to the chorus, you're going to want to put harmony and altar style on just to give it a little bit of a kick. Um, and then when you go back to the second verse, which, by the way, I did not write the second verse of, of We Are the Champions in. I did not have enough room. So you've only got the first verse written. But I do have repeat dots. And then you're going to go back and play it again. And I do have a little coda at the end. I have everything on two pages, believe it or not. So when the heck did you do all that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Did you sleep in the meantime? Good God. She's a magician. <laughs> yeah, she is. Inez, you get the prize uh, for the year for coming to lessons during a fire. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that's dedication. Now, what you want for that second one is you want some kind of a 6-8 ballad. Ballads are usually 6-8, OK? So oh. if you are on an easy 2, 3, 4, 10, um, Ballad guitarist, which is actually your, um, uh, shoot, don't, don't ever get old because I just lost it. Um, <laughs> um, ba um, six eight guitarist is going to probably give you the best sound for your rock and roll We Are the Champions because even though it's a power ballad, you still want it to sound like Brian May playing the electric guitar. So that's going to sound the best for that. Um, and you're just pretty much always on the top keyboard. So what I did is I added um, an AOC for the chorus, and I added strings 16 for the second verse, and then back and forth between altar style. So nothing too great. I totally rewrote it to make it a little easier because it was all piano music. So I rewrote it to make it as easy as possible for us, the easy players, to play it. <laughs> When they spring in the chorus and I need to go on and on and on, that's when I go to the next preset and it's marked, it's marked here. And your next preset brings in the AOC. <laughs> and lots of fill in and then you go into the chorus. So one page is the verse and the second page is the chorus. <laughs>
singer. Only Freddie's going to sing now. You're going to take the altar style off, but now you're going to add a string 16 so that it's just a little bit fatter the second time you play it. There, it got a little bit fatter, just a little bit. You could have left it where it was, it didn't matter. And then when you get to the chorus again, which is the second page, I went back to altar style and AOC. suspended fourth chord with the seventh. How many times have I told you you never end a chord on a se uh, never end a song on a seven chord? Never. All the time. Except when you're queen. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So they're using that suspended fourth chord with the seven and I've got, and then I've got the notes written in here for you. And you're just going to let it ring out on the guitar. You're going to play it in the bottom as well. And then hit the stop button and let that top one. Now I don't have the feedback on there, just the guitar, and just let it fade out on its own. Wow. Okay. Amazing. Yeah. So you never end a song unless you're queen. <laughs> yeah. On a suspended fourth chord with a seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because it's just hanging there. But that was the effect they wanted. We are the champions of the world. Hang there. And it just hangs there. It's really cool. <laughs> and those two songs usually get played together. However, if you want, you can just keep them separate. That's totally up to you. Totally up John, to you. John, now, I, question. any questions? Uh, yes. Uh, the We Are the Champions music you mm -hmm. have all written out. I wrote that out for you, yes. It's a two-pager. And we will read you on page 307. Huh? The last four lines that's still from We Will Rock You. Yeah, yes. Okay. This whole book is We Will Rock You. What's right. in your book, your okay. 70s book is We Will Rock You. Okay, so the, We Are the Champions never came into this. Okay. But okay. they play the two songs back to back. Yeah, right, right, I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. They play, so, so when you start going into We Are the Champions, once again, change your preset, hit the no chord so that you get an idea of what the timing is so that you can start it right. Okay, just do that no chord. And so get that drums going. Yes, go ahead. Preset A1 then is uh, for the song, We Will Write You, We Will Rock You. We Will Rock You. And then we too, go yeah. to the, <laughs> we are the champions for the two, three sets. Okay. Correct. Yes. Correct. Okay. Yes. Absolutely wow. Correct. Yep. Something totally different. We've, we've never done wow. first, that's queen. You know, they do some all, totally off the wall stuff. Same thing happened when we did stairway to heaven. They had three separate sections where they had three separate backgrounds, rhythm styles. And so we just put them in order so it would work. This one's actually a little easier so that those of you with the smaller yes. instruments where you can't save a preset, you can just do that one or two button push to get to that next rhythm. What you're going to have to do is do the next rhythm and you're going to have to probably change a little bit of the tempo because one's at 80 and one's at 62. So how many, we have A1, A through six, did you say? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to tell us where those go? Um, they're all marked. A1 is this. A1 is here. That's the whole song, That's We Will whole, Rock You? A1 okay. is, is We Will Rock You, and I've got them marked here. Oh, okay. Got and, it. 
So you don't need me to tell you because I've already got it all marked. You, yeah, like okay. I said, the only thing I do not have is fingering. Okay, so you guys can probably figure that out on your own. It's not that difficult. The hardest part is going to be this little run. And I need to go on. You're going to need to do a, a thumb tuck. And you might just want to work that a little bit until you can figure out which fingers work the best. So Close I have up. a song for you. We will survive without fingering. <laughs> That was you great. guys are so cute. <laughs> well, I really had fun with this. I also panicked with this. So if you ever want to see me stressing out, oh, my God, this song did stress me out. I you did a really good to... job with it. You oh, did a really, really good amazing, job. Amazing, amazing job. It's, it's pretty cool. Now, don't forget, next week, Robert's trying to give us teachers a little bit of a Labor Day break. So it's no class. Do not come at 12.30 and expect Dawn to let you into class because we're not having any classes. Robert will be having three separate events for all levels of instruments and he's dividing them up by instrument. So check your emails and go ahead and, and take those classes if you want. What it's doing is it's freeing up us teachers to give you guys some one-on-one -on -one attention. Oh, mm -hmm. so you're gonna fly up here to Rhode Island? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could. Yeah, yeah. no, it's gonna it's or pay her half here and ship an organ, right? Yeah, there you go. So we'll, you we'll get a stuff doing, in Hazleton, too. Yeah, we'll, we'll be doing some one on one stuff. I will be working on something for that uh, September 3rd, Labor Day Saturday, and I am going to ask Robert if it's okay. Um, that I put something on Zoom, okay? Well, next what? I'm going to miss me. you guys. I'm going to miss you guys if I can't see you all in a week. <laughs> no. The next time we meet on a Wednesday, are we doing the way we were? Um, I was thinking about that, but you know what? Because yeah. I was thinking that walk this way is also going to be hard. Yeah. But guess what? You want to take mm -hmm. the challenge? You want to try it? No. He knows it's not. Try what? Walk this way? Yeah. Uh, it's long. I, I'd like to do it, but I won't be here that week. But it'll be oh, a Oh, so. yeah. That's going to be the week after the, yeah, it's going to be two weeks from today. Yeah. What are we I'm doing? Like do it, um, I will give it a try. If I can't get anything out of it, I will move ahead, too, because I'm not going to do it if it's going to be yucky. I will move ahead and do the way we were. Yeah. All right, so. Are you and, talking about walk this way? Yes, yes. Okay. Walk this way is going to be a little bit more difficult. Oh, Steven. Arrow, that's Aerosmith. That's Steven Tyler. Yeah. I know this song. Whatever you feel like, Dawn. Well, well, we'll see how the creative juices flow. And <laughs> if I can get something, you know, short and easy, then we'll do two songs. Whoa. Why not? <laughs> now she's going <laughs> overboard. Yeah, keep pushing us. Don? <laughs> yes. Uh, I was late. Oh. Did we we totally skipped 25 or 64. We did that last week. We did? We most certainly did, yes. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. Yep. We did that All right, one so last the week. Next song is Walk This Way. Walk This Way and or... The way we were and it's not next wednesday remember we're, we're taking a break and we'll be skipping and it'll be two weeks from today okay all right all and right. i will be ordering books if you guys need books oh. i think three th i think 366 is the one everybody's been been uh voting for oh okay okay so i'm gonna order I'm pretty sure yeah I don't think anybody's going to be able to, to vote enough times to beat that. So we'll just order 366. This has been a really good series. Now, we did not do Layla. And because we're taking a little bit of a break next week, I want to do Layla, but I want to put in the piano solo that goes with it. Okay? So I will try, no guarantees, but I'm going to try to work on Layla 
with a piano solo so that at the end of this book, before we go into the 60s book, I will, I will do Layla, because we did skip it. Okay. Don? Yes. On the 25, 6 to 4, did you do an arrangement or anything? Most definitely. <laughs> yes. It'll be on what about in, what about the intro? Um, what, yeah, I think I had, yeah, I had intro, insert, also. and a final coda. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So if you want to come in, I'll give it all to you, Miss Dottie. No worries. <laughs> I'll catch up one day. Uh, yeah. I cannot do this without you guys. I have oh. so much fun thank doing you, this. Thank you, and I'm so glad you all keep attending. Um, because if you weren't attending, that means I would, wouldn't be doing a very good job. So thank you. Your attendance tells me everything. <laughs> you guys thank you, Don. You guys are Thanks, awesome. Don. If you need a book. So for thank you. If You're the you awesome person. Let me know. You're amazing. Um, ordering books. Pardon? When are you ordering books? I will order them tomorrow. Okay. And we have to let you know. 366 is the decade okay. series. You're going to add add one for me, right? Well, just make sure you email me so I know. I will. Okay. The, uh -huh. Those of you who can get them from your own store, please do so. Um, if you need me to order them, let me know. Like, I, I'm a, I've already got Fred on the list because the, then we send it up to him. And uh, if you need me to order a book for you, please let me know. I'm more than happy to do that. But then you have to the ones that you order, you're going to have in the store, right? So we can yes. come by and pick it up? Yes. Okay. Correct. Correct. Okay. Donna, when I, when I got my 366 book, I got it right from Hal Leonard. Uh-huh. So they are available from Hal Leonard. That's yes, the decade already, book, right? Yeah. Yes, it's the decade series. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yep. That one, they have, Hal Leonard's website has them. Mm-hmm. If anybody yep. needs. Yep. Okay. I'll give you a call later. All right. Go okay. on. All right. Go could could I step by and pick up the insert for uh, We Will Rock You? Whatever you want. Yep. Is that okay? Is that yes. all right? Whatever okay. you want. Absolutely. Yeah. That's why I'm here. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Bye. Ooh. Bye. I just, okay, uh, Freddie, we'll Freddie, I'm just now reading your chat. Song set up for Peter Gunn gives you the drummer for We Will Rock You. <gasps> oh, I yeah, have to try that. I have a plan right now. I have to try it. Okay, that's the drummer. It's not. It's not exact, but it's close. Yeah, that's what that you got to look that for. Is, that is Happy Organ. Oh, it is Happy Organ. Yeah, Peter Gunn is Happy Organ. Yeah. Oh, no kidding. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very cool. Yeah. That's the one I'm using. So very cool. Okay. Those are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Don. Thank you, Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. A couple weeks. Some of you will see on Friday. Okay.